Welcome back to the Primo Show. I am your host, Primo, as always. I don't think there's anybody else ever been on the show, but if they have been, let me know, because that means somebody hacked my account. So, I am here at the LS Car Meet. I have, I think this is probably one of the best additions to this game ever. I just love it. There is so much you can do. I already won the car. But there is just so much you can do with this new kind of system, and it's kind of self-contained. Some of you guys are arguing about this rep system and the idea that you can't buy clothes without getting to a certain rep. You know what? Here's I've said this over and over again. The, these are, I don't know how to say it, but like from a mental manipulation part of it is probably what I'm trying to get at. But the idea that people strive in these games to get to new levels because it's something to strive for. It gives us something to work for. You, I, I wanted to do new upgrades and things like that. So they still left it open so people could actually buy cars. When I suggested it, I said, I don't even want to do that. I said, if you, there's some of these cars that you're going to do it, you have to win them. You have to unlock them by beating a certain section in the game or something like that. So I'm, I was a little bit even more, I guess, restrictive of everything than they were they just let people come in here and you know buy all the cars and maybe spend a little extra get them and the only thing they really locked out was the clothing um and that's i mean even that i mean other than the one race suit pretty much everything is by level 450 so um as you can see right now i'm level 180 i keep working to do my stuff so i keep getting to that next level and i'm having a lot of fun doing it uh, so i hope you guys are having fun with it too i just think it's something you can constantly stick with and constantly dedicate to get into that next level and i've always wanted to get to level 100 and i mean still have level 1000 for um for my main character and i'm finally getting something that's kind of pushing me to do that so and i'm level what, 891 now okay and that's the thing is i think when all this is said and done and i get my level uh my level 1000 for reputation then uh yeah i'm gonna be pretty much where i need to be on everything so that's gonna be good but what I want to talk about today, which is something kind of quick, um, but <laughs> as long as I've talked so far, but uh, something I want to talk about really quick was kind of five things that you didn't realize or may not have known when it came to the LS Meets. So you can take a look at it. It's pretty kind of neat. I've, I've run into some stuff here that I keep running into, and it's, it's kind of cool. I wanted to run this over with you, and you guys put it in the comments if you see something that you think that you know or, you know, if you don't know. Who knows? We'll see what it is. So the first thing up, which these two Komodos I'm really impressed with, is the Flash guys. This guy is taking a picture, and as you can see from the camera here, uh, his Flash is like right there, but it, there's no Flash on it. Sometimes there's like kind of a pop-up thing that has like a neat flash on it, but man, this dude spent like probably 10000 on that lens, and uh, his camera is apparently what he spent that money was magic because look at it. So you can see there what the sayings on the screen are. Try to catch up with him. This guy can move. See, so yeah, it's just some setting stuff. It's kind of weird, too. A little filter stuff, but yeah. So there you go. That camera guy, he's there. And the other thing is, is he'll be down here, too. You'll see this guy. And, uh, well, he's, I guess, taking pictures of a car that I already won and is no longer there. Or maybe the back of a truck. I don't know. Maybe he's real dedicated to his job. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments what you think. Next thing up is famous cars and characters. A lot of times you'll see guys like Benny, like Benny's car here. So that means if Benny's car is here, Benny will be around somewhere. It's going to be the same thing with some other cars. There is a version of the Ken Block car that's kind of tooling around. There's, there's a couple of different ones that you can see that are famous cars. And there'll be associated people walking around with them that are kind of cool. But you got to go around and find them. Look for people that will talk to you. And there are definitely some guys that are kind of like they're going to seem a lot friendlier than they normally would be. Like most of these guys don't say anything. And then you'll find a guy that starts talking and you know that guy's somebody cool. And it's funny because I thought I saw 
the original mechanic in here at one point, but I could have been mistaken. He was wearing regular clothes. So if you guys see him or see something like that, let me know what you've seen. So one thing, and I'm just going to say it real quick. If you've, at the beginning of every race, kind of at the load screen, you can press the RB button or whatever it is for the other game systems, and you'll be able to check the high scores at the beginning of the race to kind of see what your best car is on that race. I usually use it for uh, the street racing series. It's not so much for pursuit because it's very you know, difficult to do that, especially with all the cops around. But if you get to the end of the race, you'll say, hey, I didn't get to you try to pull it up. It's going to be blank. And I think that's funny because it's like it can't access it at the end of a race. I don't know why, but it'll be blank. So that's that's one of the things. But if you want to, hey, to come right over here, go to your series leaderboards. And you can see at the bottom it says you can change it to pursuit races or next race. And you can pull up all you've done. So there's that one. Next race. Go to the series leaderboard. There you go. Get your standings. And you can press Y to change over to pursuits. And there's your pursuits. So you have to reset it every time, but you still will be able to see your top speeds, how well you've done, and uh, you know, how effective you are. Okay, so you got the cops, and you need to escape the cops. Guess what? You can run to the LS car meet, and they all forget you existed. That's something that's different from any other thing I've run into. Most of the times when you have that red flashing part, you cannot enter any kind of building. It'll say you have to lose the police first. And uh, as you can see, it. not only am I in here, but I have no cops following me. So we'll go back out and see if that's... Still present. And nope, as you can see, better than Colin Lester. So the other thing is you guys who want to, this is kind of, I'm going to give two, two last facts that are kind of together, so they're kind of bonus facts on top of the other one. So remember we are talking about Kim Block. There's the... Ken Block Flash, as you can see. I wonder who that guy is. There is one guy that walks around. He always looks the same, too, so it's kind of weird, but he just walks around the whole area, like stopping and taking pictures of cars. But anyway, so let's say I had. Oh, there he is right there. He's going to take the walk, go over and take a picture, but he'll keep walking. As you guys probably know, these are the cars that are going to be next up. Two of those will be already out, and this will be the next one that's coming out on Thursday. Uh, but let's say you wanted to have your, the first one is, let's say you wanted to have your car back, but you didn't want to have to, there's no way to kind of give it away here. You can go to vehicles, return personal vehicles, and you can call up the mechanic. For some wheels, I'm Johnny on the spot. I'll hook you up. And there you go. He'll deliver on the your way. car. You'll see he'll move it up there. So if you don't like where your car is at, which be? I don't, move the personal vehicle there. There you go. And I like this section because it's got real good lighting. So if you want to take a picture and you also have like the next unlocked car uh, when you're there. So let's say if you look through here, you can tell that this area is not viewable. If you want to view what's going on inside the uh, controlled area there, it, it's not a perfect view, but this one will do. As you can spectate the test track here. Yeah, it's kind of a crappy cage thing. I think they could have done this a lot better to be more spectator oriented, but whatever. Also, we also showed that. So if you press down, 
you'll be able to see what cars pitch down the D-pad for uh, Xbox guys. You'll be able to see what cars there are. I like to get ideas from some of these. You'll see that Salton is pretty common. And then there's a, uh, for me at least, there is a Eclipse over here that likes showing up all the time that has the crackle effects on it. Kind of wondering if that's the representation of Ken. So yeah, if you haven't tooled around too much in the LS meets, you should give it a shot. There's some very cool cars. I like kind of like how the other than the Calico GTF, which is kind of broken. As a whole, the class is really fairly balanced and you know competitive wise, really tight courses, which is something that uh, they've added, which I really dig. Uh, and it's something that any new player that wants to be interested in racing, you're going to have a lot more control than you would say in getting into regular races. I found that a lot of times ability will overcome stuff like catch up. So if you have a problem with catch up, I still don't like the slipstream. I still kind of like eh on the catch up. But um, for the most part, even on contact races, it's it's been a lot better than kind of normal races. It's kind of weird how it's worked out that way. Uh, but yeah, this is one of those things that really came out well. I think they did a great job with it. I can't wait to see all the cars that came out. I, um, I'm a big fan of the Lexus SC, and uh, that's going to be the last car that comes out with the update. So um, when that gets out, it's like a, the coupe. They haven't seen a coupe in this game since like 2016, so it's going to be huge to have something like that back in the game. So uh, like I said, if you haven't tried it, give it a shot. Let us know what you think, and uh, you know, let's see if you can find any things in here that I've missed. I know I've missed a lot because I run into so much stuff and it's very difficult to remember everything. But, uh, yeah, take a look at it and tell me what you think. We'll talk to you guys then. Otherwise, have a great day.